young copper, played in the king's hall, and with all the glass tongue was his name. And on the winter nights, when the king sat at board, and some willy played to please both night and day. Willie he sang high, and Willie he sang low, his tongue it was as smooth as any glass. If the ladies on that hall had been birds all on the tree, they'd have perched upon his arm as he walked past. Willie's bill quite fingers plucked the harp strings soft and sweet, and nimbly did they coax that tender sound. If the ladies of that hall had been hares all on the heath, they'd have crept on to his lap as he sat down. It fell upon an evening when the king's new bride sat down, and blood red wine had touched a tender lip. She took off a ring of gold and passed it down the board. And onto Willie's finger it did slip. Well, the king was sitting by, and his new bride's reckless gift to the handsome harper grieved his old heart so. His hand slipped from the cup and fell down to his sword, and he vowed that Willie he should sing no more. Set down thy noiseful harp, and stand before your king. Stand silent, for my judgment you shall hear. Set down thy noiseful harp, for my sword it now would speak, for the spell that you have cast upon my dear. But it is no spell, my lord, have I cast upon your dear. I can't defend my life unless I speak. But I'll sit down my heart, and I will bend the knee, if he'll set down your sword within its sheath. But the king he drew his blade, and he thrust it with his breast, and the hard heart's blood it spilled upon the floor. So now your tongue of glass can moulder into clay, and no lady's ear will turn for it the more. But it is one final song where I sing before my king, then your lady's ear will turn for me no more. But it is one final song where I sing within this song, then bury without the castle door. A curse fall on your house, a curse fall on your wine, a curse fall on each air beneath your crown. Not again shall music sound within this merry hall, before you both lie silent in the ground. For well, they carried him away, and they laid him in the clay, and his tongue of glass, it gave no stir at all. But before the morning came, the king and the lady died, and the requiem was sung within their hall. Yes, the requiem was sung within their hall.